Though a lot of people are asking me, how do you get Minnie Mouse and Pooh to both be in focus when they are not on the same focal plane? Thank you for asking. I love when people ask questions. So on the previous image, you can see that my aperture was 1.8, shutter speed 200, ISO 400. So what you need to do in order to be able to focus on Minnie Mouse and still get Pooh in focus is to increase your aperture number. However, you will see that when I do that, the photo gets darker. In order to change the aperture on my camera, I turn this dial in the front right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. And you will see the photo is getting darker. So I have two options. I can decrease my shutter speed. However, this is going to make my photo get blurry. So instead, what I'm going to do, I will take it down to 160. Then I'm gonna increase my ISO. Going to do a quick pause right here and let you know if manual mode settings confuse the heck out of you, you can get a free manual mode cheat sheet on my profile or on my website, nancysmiley.com, or you can join my photography course where I can show you how to use your camera like an absolute pro in just six weeks. Okay, perfect. Now at this close range, I'm really close to them. I need a really high aperture number. He's a little more in focus, but definitely not as focused as Minnie Mouse. Can you tell? So this is a perfect lesson on aperture and depth of field. Your depth of field is how wide does your focus grow? Because as your aperture number goes up, your focus area gets bigger. You will see that when you are really close like that, you need an exponentially higher aperture number in order to get them both in focus. So the best thing you can do is you get farther away or get your subjects to stand closer together. I hope this helps, but again, let me know what questions you have and I'll see you guys in the next video.